So when they're in the rivers at this stage, they um, remember Atlantic sa or Pacific salmon, which pink salmon are, they uh, die after they're finished spawning. So as soon as they enter the rivers and start getting ready to spawn, they start deteriorating. They're putting so much energy into spawning that their bodies start breaking down, metabolizing the meat and the fat in order to give them the energy they need to spawn. So they stop eating altogether. And basically they're, they're uh, decomposing uh, over time as they're in these rivers. So at this stage, they already have started that and they taste horrible. Um, I just cut a female and the eggs were coming out of it. So they are at that point where, well this is a really short creek where it gets to the point where it's impassable. So it's really just this section that you've been seeing on my videos where they're spawning. And then uh, the uh, uh, smolt, the babies, return back to the sea right there. So, because this water is actually too shallow to live in. It's a little bit of a unique situation, but it's awesome. I've never experienced this, experienced this kind of fishing or observing, not really considering the sport fishing, it's not that exciting because they're right there and you essentially just drift down through and you end up catching one almost every cast. So it's more about the experience and just seeing the abundance of the fish in this spot, being so close to the ocean. Uh, this is Cook Inlet, or no, this is Prince William Sound actually because we passed through the mountain, underneath the mountain until we got to this spot. So very unique, beautiful, beautiful area. Uh, the only thing that hasn't happened here, which we were hoping would, is the black bear coming down to feed on the salmon, which they do, just that they haven't done it while we've been here. If we had stayed later last night or come really early this morning, we might have experienced that. But nonetheless, still awesome. There is bald eagles coming in. There's seagulls feeding on the row on the salmon eggs. There's fishing boats out in the ocean here in the, in the inlet behind me. They are harvesting mostly sockeye salmon, I believe and packaging it for marketing, for market for the market. So there's uh, fish plants in town here and cooler reefer trucks, you know, so cooler trucks that transport the salmon out of here. And also we're seeing them being loaded onto boats to be shipped maybe overseas, not sure where, where that market is. But awesome spot, it's gonna be an awesome day. This is my last day in uh, Alaska, at least this time. Hope to return again soon, but I am looking forward to getting home to see my family and, and get back to the cabin. I hope you enjoyed that video. So the first part was obviously self-explanatory. You saw me, of course, working on the porch here and also making a lasagna in the earthen oven and on the, the grill in the forest kitchen. That uh, meat, if you didn't watch the previous video from earlier this week, that was bear meat that my buddy Jeremy gave me. And that uh, fat was bear fat that I rendered down into what's going to be used for mostly cooking lard. It's so clean and tasty that um, I was going to use it to make uh, face cream, especially a barrier, cold barrier cream for this winter. But it's too clean. Jeremy is a, um, or was a butcher for most of his life by trade. So... He knows how to handle game meat in particular and make sure that it doesn't get tainted. So that white fat was just pure, clean fat, no hairs in it, no blood, no meat, and uh, very little meat, which I did trim off. But anyway, it's so clean and clear that it's ideal for cooking and for eating. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Lasagna is awesome. I'm going to eat that for uh, dinner again tonight and probably again tomorrow. So that uh, went over well. But the reason I wanted to show you that clip of the last few days in Alaska, first of all, that's the last of the footage for Alaska that you'll see on this channel. So, but if you do want to see more of that footage, um, each individual day in Alaska, then head on over to my other channel, Sean James. And the links are always in the description of these videos down at the bottom to get to that channel. I did that in vlog format so you can watch that uh, those entire days from sun up to sundown essentially. Uh, but the reason I did want to include it in this video is that foraging season and harvest season has essentially begun. So the lasagna, like I said, I cooked, um, I used bear meat for that. That was the meat in it. Harvested um, uh, basil and thyme from my vegetable garden. The uh, mushrooms, I should have gotten out a little bit earlier. I see that there is a lot of mushrooms coming up. Not sure if any of the edible ones are up yet. But I probably could have found some and put that in the lasagna as well. I'll be making a big batch of tomato sauce shortly so that I'll have that for the over the coming year. 
Um, the salmon that I was catching out in Alaska, awesome. Those were not real great for eating at that stage, but there's, of course there's lots of uh, salmon that I could have caught and eaten there. The salmon berries were unique. To, uh, first time I've ever harvested those, picked those and ate them. They were, they were amazing. Um, then getting back here and seeing all the berries here ripe right now. So raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries I've been picking. No blueberries on the property, but I have been eating raspberries as I walk around. Um, game is, well, game seasons are coming up, so hunting seasons are approaching. So I'll have to start getting ready for that. Fish are really active right now. The water's warm, and the warm water species are really, really, really active. So I should be getting out in the next couple of days to harvest some of those as well. So yeah, exciting time of year, but just makes it that much busier too for trying to harvest. And I'm still trying to get my preservation uh, food storage, preservation storage system set up. So yeah, busy, busy time of year, but my favorite time of the year. I love this. I love working outside in these temperatures, it's starting to cool off and get drier, less humid. Bugs are, are hardly any. It's hardly any mosquitoes around right now. Yeah, it's just ideal. So the next three months is my time of year. I love this. So I will be continuing to work around the cabin. I'll be working with the guys on the longhouse. I'll be harvesting fish and game and vegetables from the garden. I'll be foraging and finishing off inside the cabin and the sauna. So lots to do, but I'm loving the pace that I'm going at right now. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed, rejuvenated after going out to Alaska and being re-inspired to continue this lifestyle. Anyway. I'm going to do that. I'm going to wrap this video up. I know I didn't show much of this build. I'm going to continue working on it today and over the next couple of days probably get the floor done and, maybe, and well, not maybe. I'll start on the walls as well. And that's, uh, yeah, that's it for this week. So I'm going to shut it down. So thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Now I look forward to seeing you up at the cabin next time. Take care. Tally here, folks.